Penetration testing is easily the most well-known and sexiest of the cybersecurity jobs. Today we're going to be talking about exactly what that job really entails and how you can get an entry-level position doing it. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to Simply Cyber. If you're new to the channel, this is a channel dedicated to helping information security professionals take their career further, faster. Today we're talking about penetration testing. As part of the Choose Your Own Adventure series, which I'll link right there to some other videos, we're looking at entry-level jobs in the industry and exploring them with experts in that particular discipline to understand what you would need to know to get that job and see if it's really interesting to you. So penetration testing definitely is a field within the information security space, and it does have entry-level opportunities. Now, most people are familiar with penetration testing or being kind of a hacker for hire because Hollywood has romanticized and dramatized what that role really is and it's often kind of associated with the the you know dark figure with the hoodie over him working on a keyboard uh, keyboard in the dark uh, there's been numerous instances uh, in Hollywood Mr. Robot really comes to mind as one of the most uh, current and, and most prevalent of the examples of what that skill set really entails. Today I'm pleased to be able to interview Paul Imey of Ceteria. Now Paul has over a decade of experience as a penetration tester and his company Ceteria is full of penetration testers who offer that service. So he has excellent experience and expertise on what the entry level role really looks like and understanding what the pros and cons are. Now per standard process what we're going to do is I'm going to offer up this uh, placard that shows the time stamps for all the different parts of the video so you can jump to where you want uh, or watch the whole video in its entirety. Either way, Paul offered some really interesting insights and I think you're gonna really enjoy it. Let's check it out. Uh, my name's Paul Imey. Uh, I've been doing penetration testing and offensive security work for uh, about 10 years now. Uh, started my career in the Air Force as a, as a computer programmer. Uh, did some IT type work and uh, eventually moved over into the offensive space. I um, also spent some time on uh, doing blue team work as well. As an entry level pen tester, typically uh, what we do in our organization, what many do, uh, you're kind of looking for those low hanging fruit types of vulnerabilities in, in uh, the networks that you're targeting. So uh, a lot of times that's, uh, that consists of doing things like vulnerability scans, uh, you know, analyzing vulnerability scans, looking for false positives, and uh, honestly, a lot of report writing. Uh, you know, that's a huge part of our job and what most penetration testers do is making sure that you can communicate to your customer, whether that's an internal customer or uh, an external customer if you're at a consultancy like we are, and uh, making sure that they understand what you found, uh, what's important, why it's important, and uh, what they can be doing to uh, fix those vulnerabilities and make sure that they are not impacted by them. I'd say the only thing you really need to be a pen tester is to have a, a passion uh, for that role, uh, a desire to want to do it, and a real interest in it. Uh, you know, no matter what, if you're a penetration tester, you're going to be learning constantly. So nobody comes into this type of role and knows everything they need uh, to succeed at everything right away. Uh, so that desire to constantly be learning and improving yourself and improving your skills is absolutely critical. Uh, some other things that, that I like to see uh, in a penetration tester uh, is if you've got some sort of background doing actual IT or uh, blue team type security work uh, because it's really important to remember that as a penetration tester uh, your job is to go out there and find those vulnerabilities and exploit uh, those vulnerabilities and see what you can get access to or see what the impact of these things are. But you also, in, in order to be effective, you have to be able to help people fix them. And uh, you know, the answer cannot always be to, uh, to install this patch or you know, apply this update or, or do whatever. You have to really understand uh, the constraints and uh, the struggles that uh, frontline IT people deal with and frontline defenders and understand uh, what, uh, why applying an update isn't always a good idea or even possible in the first place. So being able to bring some experience like that uh, to us is hugely valuable. If you've got some time uh, and experience in IT and you want to make that move to a penetration tester, I think that type of perspective is really what you should focus on uh, bringing to, uh, to a penetration type of role. Programming skills, uh, you know, if you've I've known salespeople who've been uh, great penetration testers. Any sort of skills that, that you can bring to it, uh, 
are, are always welcome. You just have to find a way to, to incorporate those. So Jerry, like you say, if you're a programmer, uh, then you might have a, a better time or easier time understanding uh, you know, where vulnerabilities exist and how developers might go about fixing them. And you might uh, have a better uh, a grasp on how to code up your own exploits and proofs of concept uh, to help your customers reproduce the types of findings that you find. And likewise, if you're a if you're a, a salesperson or you know a marketing person, you might have an easier time doing social engineering types of tests where uh, you know you need to go talk your way into a building that you're not supposed to have access to, or or talk your way into you know somebody giving you the Wi-Fi password or something along those lines. So um, you know, depending on what sort of specialty uh, you're really trying to pursue, uh, you know, you can really leverage a large array of talents, and it's really just again about having that passion for doing penetration testing work and security work in general and trying to find a way to uh, leverage your existing skills and talents uh, to, to benefit uh, your customer. The sky's the limit. Uh, you know, penetration testing, you know, just like everything else in the information security field, there's, there's so many uh, places you can take it. You can obviously, uh, you know, just be a better penetration tester after two years. Uh, you can, I've seen people go on and become project managers and lead penetration testing teams, but uh, there's also a ton of specialties and uh, specialized areas where you might want to, uh, you know, go focus your efforts. Uh, I've seen people who are really, really interested in, you know, testing web applications or even specific types of web applications or people who really want to go specialize in uh, mobile app penetration testing or even hardware. Uh, devices, um, you know, Jerry, with your background, you're really focused on medical devices, and uh, you know the security implications of those. So maybe you really want to learn how to tear apart those and and um, you know find vulnerabilities within uh, those types of hardware. So uh, you know, really, it, it's up to you. What I encourage people to do is find the thing that sparks their interest uh, the most and become an expert in that, because you're never going to be uh, the best at everything. Uh, what you find is people become experts in their uh, their specific areas, and they have some knowledge about all the other areas surrounding that. Uh, but you know, it's really, in my opinion, uh, most beneficial and most uh, fulfilling for me to to find areas to specialize in and become really good at that thing and become the authority on that thing. To me, the best part about being a pen tester and penetration testing in general is not necessarily you know that moment when you you know you access something that you're not supposed to be able to get into, or you you know penetrate a perimeter or you know gain a shell on on some application or whatever it may be. Uh, the the best thing to me is is the education piece. At the end of the day, our job is to go out and find flaws in our customers' environments or software or hardware or whatever it is, and educate them about you know why those vulnerabilities exist, how they can be exploited, and how they can, one, prevent them uh, from being exploited in the future and prevent future mistakes from being made uh, that are similar to those, right? So uh, to me, I really enjoy getting out there and, and helping teach people how to uh, close off these vulnerabilities and, and sort of teaching them the fish rather than giving them a fish, if you will, uh, teaching them how to uh, protect themselves, their customers, and their environments and uh, making sure that they're ready to uh, go forward and uh, do better on their next penetration test. Uh, the worst part is, you know, you're going to come across situations where you have to bang your head against an environment, uh, you know, for long periods of time and, and you're just not going to get in. And that's, again, that's great. You know, you have a, a customer who is doing a great job, but you've still got to go find a way to, to write that report and, and, you know, find something to talk to them about. So I would say that, you know, for me, the most frustrating is, is when, you know, there's nothing to be done and, and the scope is so tight and controlled that there's really uh, nothing to, to help your customer out with and you can't really find uh, anything that really delivers value to them. And then, of course, uh, you know, the report writing, you always have to make sure that your documentation is on point. And, uh, you know, there's some people out there who enjoy that, but not me. You know, it, it really depends. Uh, what I find a lot of times is you can go through uh, and you'll find a vulnerability, you'll find something that's interesting that you can exploit and use to, you know, achieve your goal. Uh, but once you start writing that report, I feel like it's more of a, a cyclical process for me anyway. Um, I find myself, once I start writing a report, wanting to find more details and more uh, finer points to make sure that I'm communicating all these details uh, to the client. Uh, but typically I would say it's, it's probably, uh, you know, 60% pen testing and 40% and uh, writing up reports, uh, but with you know with some edge cases out there, sometimes it takes way longer to to generate the reports because the amount of information that you're trying to uh, 
put into the document is huge and uh, it's very interesting and, and sort of nuanced uh, types of findings whereas other times uh, you know you find vulnerabilities that you found a hundred times before and it's very easy to just uh, document them and move on. Just go out there and practice. If you want to be a penetration tester, there's tons of capture the flag uh, exercises out there on the internet that you can find. You can sign up for a hack the box and go out there and, and do some uh, penetration testing. Uh, go to conferences, uh, you know, your local B-sides or if you're closer to a larger conference or you can get out to those, uh, you know, go check them out, get involved in the community and, uh, and just, you know, show that interest. I think, you know, when we interview people here, uh, obviously we look for people who uh, can get started and have technical skills on day one and can contribute. Uh, but if, if we're talking to someone who doesn't have specific experience in this area, uh, but you're telling me about um, you know, all these different courses you've taken, all your uh, GitHub repositories uh, you know, that you've been working through, uh, some capture the flag events and so on, you're really showing me that you're interested and you're going to get good at this whether or not you get a job with us. Uh, that's, that's really what I like to see because I know that you're going to go and uh, chase these things down and figure them out. So, uh, you know, just follow, follow whatever it is that makes you interested in that and, and you know, do your own research and, and be a self-starter. And people, uh, hiring managers will realize that and, and they'll want you on their team. That was excellent. Thanks again to Paul and Sateria for uh, providing that interview and those insights. Really, pen testing really is a cool, a cool field. And it seems like curiosity might be one of those foundational attributes that you would have to have to be successful at that field. And I really think, you know, popping a shell or owning uh, a system is really cool and, and gratifying. It gives that sense of accomplishment. But I think really what stood out to me was, you know, asking the bigger why, you know, why were you able to do that? What controls failed at that organization? And really the bigger uh, success is helping that organization. There's also additional resources, which I'll link down below uh, for certification, free training, uh, and more insight into kind of what that world is and, you know, job post like keywords for finding jobs uh, in that field. So thanks. And until next time, stay secure.